The leopard's beautiful spotted pattern blends in perfectly with its habitat, but humans would only rarely see it, even if it were not so well camouflaged. As with other species, the population loss can be attributed to multiple causes, such as deforestation and habitat loss. But poaching has been the main force behind its decline. But in Armenia and Azerbaijan, where the prey populations are a little healthier, the poachers hunt the leopards themselves. Hunting has a long tradition in the region rooted in rural life. Large-scale recreational hunting began in the 19th century, when the region's beauty and diverse game attracted the Russian aristocracy. There are less than 100 lepers in the Caucasus region today, but there are reasons for hope. Anti-poaching laws are tough. In Armenia, the fine for killing a leopard is approximately 2,000 euros, and almost 7,000 if it occurs in a protected area. This is the equivalent of up to three years' wages for an average Armenian. And these laws are beginning to be enforced. CNF is contributing with its support for park rangers and equipment like camera traps. Ecotourism and environmental education are advancing, and in time, with increased awareness, Leopard could continue to hold its own in this region that is so vital to its fight for habitat. But for the Caucasus leopard, time is short, and its fate hangs in the balance.